Hey coach, Leo here from Make Money Coaching Sports. Welcome back to a new video. So today I want to talk about six ways to improve your business skills so you can make more money coaching sports. So something I speak to coaches on a regular basis is a lot of them ask me, they reach out and they ask me, Leo, how can I improve my business skills? Now, business skills is something that if you want to have a successful business, you must learn the art of business, right? You've got to learn how to implement business, your business skills so that you can make more money, you can do this full time, and also you can learn other skills which will help you in business as well. So I want to share with you six things that I talk to a lot of coaches about and a lot of trainers who reach out to me with questions. They, they ask me, Leo, what are certain or certain or specific business skills that I need in order to make my business, my sports training business a success? So I've gathered all that information together and I broke it down into six main areas that I feel if you are a sports trainer, this these six will really help you in order to help to improve your business skills so that you can make more money coaching in the sport you're coaching. Okay. So if you look at my screen, right, I've put six uh, points in front. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to break them down into a little bit more detail. Okay, so the first one is learn from the best, right? Now, what I see a lot of business owners currently doing is they are on Instagram looking and seeing what other people are doing, okay? Now, that is fine because, I mean, as a consultant myself, that is something I do. I research the industry, I research what trainers are currently doing, what is trending, what seems to be working, what seems to not be working. And that's good that you're doing that as well as a business owner. But when I, when I put down learn from the best, it means learn from the best trainers. So trainers that have the most successful businesses in your local area, see what they are doing, Go to sessions, right? And if you have to, right, pay for pay in order to have a meeting with them, right? Get them in, get get in front of these 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 trainers and ask them what have you done to get to where you want to be. Okay, so something I always encourage uh, trainers that I work with is research your local market. See what trainers in your sport are there and see which trainers are doing really well. But don't just go off of what they're doing on Instagram. So how many followers they have, how much content they posted, because that is irrelevant. It is important because you can take a lot of skills that they're doing in terms of the marketing, right? So what are they doing to market themselves really well on Instagram that is leading to being successful. But ultimately what you want is you want information on how they structure their program, how they communicate with their customers, and essentially how they have their business system set up so that you can take some of what they are doing and implement it into your business, right? But you want to learn from the best trainers. You don't want to learn from someone who is at the same level that you are currently at. So if you are only working with five to 10 uh, customers at the moment, you want to find a trainer that is working with 10 times that amount and that is got a system in place in order to grow and scale that you can take that system and customize it, but implement it into your business as well, right? So the second point is apply what you learn, 
right? So when I say apply what you learn, it means, for example, a lot of trainers reach out to me on a daily basis that they've watched my YouTube videos or they're on the newsletter that I send out, right? And a lot of them ask me questions about certain cer certain topics that I talk about. So what I what I normally do is I normally answer all the the trainers' questions who 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 reach out to me with answers, right? With solutions to the problems that they are currently have having. But what a lot of trainers don't don't do is they don't apply those solutions to what they're learning, right? So they will gather content, they will consume it, but they won't apply what they're learning. So I know a lot of trainers who are currently, who, who on a daily basis are watching the content that I put out, right? They're consuming it, they love it, but they're not applying what they're learning on this, right? So YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, uh, X. These are all platforms that you should be using in order in order to gather information, gather data, and be able to apply that into your business. Right. So it's not just a case of consume, consume, consume. You've got to consume in order to apply, so that you can create and produce. Okay. Now the third one is seek feedback and improvement. So. A lot of trainers out there, they will apply, but then they won't seek feedback or look for different ways to improve, right? So I'll take for, ex I'll give you one example, and it's a very common one, is the whole cash model, right? A lot of sports trainers at the moment, what they're doing is they're charging clients, uh, and they're, they're collecting money for their services in cash. So they'll turn up to the session, they'll do their session, and then they, the parents or the clients, or the customers are paying them cash, and then they're going home, and then same next week, right? Now, a lot of trainers, what they're doing is they're seeing, right, that's a, a, a type of business model that they want to change, because if you have a look at previous videos, there's a lot of downsides to that type of a, a business model, right? So go back on previous videos and you'll have a look that they, I talk about a lot of negatives to implementing a cash-based type of system in your business. So what a lot of coaches are now doing, they're looking to do the online where they are charging clients and clients are paying them online for, for their service. But what they're seeing is that maybe at first it, it doesn't work and then they're just quitting and going back to what, what was working. But at the same time, it's not working, right? So seek feedback and look for improvement means joining a community such as our Sports Accelerator program that we have at our company where you can seek feedback from people like myself, like Ben, ask questions, and you can ask other trainers that are in this industry doing what you're doing, what types of, types of improvements they can make in order to help to grow and scale their, their business, right? But when you implement something new and at first it doesn't work, that doesn't mean that you quit on it. Right. It just means that you've got to find a solution to that problem that you're having with that that new type of system that you're implementing. OK, but you need to be able to seek feedback. Right. Leo, what am I doing? Well, what do I need help on? What would you recommend? OK, asking those types of questions will get you to to the answers. Okay. And seeking to implement that, that those improvements or that feedback is also very important, right? And that's also not just going to develop your business skills, but it's going to help you to make more money because maybe there's something in there 
that you currently aren't doing that you could do, which will make you more money in your coaching business. Right, number four, learn new skills and trends. So learning new skills, what I mean by that is learning how to, learning the skills of selling, closing, negotiating, marketing, prospecting, right? All those types of business skills which are needed in order to generate more revenue and close more customers, right? So seek out mentors, join programs like our accelerator program, uh, go to seminars, join webinars, right? Read books, learn new business skills and see what is trending, right? What are the big companies currently doing that you can implement into your business, right? So go onto websites. There's a lot of really big companies out there, right? That are in your industry, in your sport. And you can have a look and see like, what, what, what are they doing? How do they market themselves? How do they close clients? And it doesn't even have to be someone in your sport or a company in your sport. It can be a company in a different industry, but have a look at what they're doing, right? How are they, how are they closing more customers? How are they marketing? How do they communicate? How do they run their, their email marketing program? Okay, which is also really important. Okay, so learn new business skills, seek out trends. So what's trending currently in the market? Okay, and how can you implement those trends into your sports coaching business fifth one network and collaborate right, this is something a lot of trainers don't do enough of and it's network right get into network network communities right you can go onto facebook facebook has a ton of communities where you can network with parents other trainers in your city or in your or in the country you're at okay but networking is really important because you know, you don't need to give another coach your secrets. And this is something I feel we're very, it's very common in this type of industry. We don't want to reveal our secrets to other coaches, which is fine. But I think just networking in general, sitting down with another coach who is in this type of industry and just having a conversation with them, whether it be through Zoom, whether it be at your local coffee shop, all right, and just talking about right, what what current problems are you going through? What what problems are you having? How are you solving those problems? What is working in your business? What isn't working? Okay, so that is something that that you I feel as a business owner you definitely need to do a little bit more of if you want because it will help you in the long term because there's going to be certain things, certain problems that you're having in your business that other coaches are having or that had and they solved that problem and you're there thinking, right, I don't know how to solve this problem. And just that little conversation, that Zoom call or that meeting with, the, with another coach may help you to solve that problem. Also, you can seek out people like us, right, who do this on a full-time basis. We work with business owners in all, all sports, so we've solved a lot of problems that coaches are currently having. But I feel that to network and collaborate, right, something very simple is just have a coffee with another coach in your area. Okay, Have a conversation with them. You don't need to reveal your secrets. You don't need to give them the, anything that you don't want to share. But just talk to them, right? Communicate, talk, and see what they are doing, what's working, and what, what things that you can take from that and maybe implement and then collaborate, right? Do camps or clinics together. And that's something we've got previous videos on, right? So building maybe a potential partnership where you can do things together is really powerful as well. Now, the sixth one is reflect and review. Okay, so reflect on your day, reflect on your week, on your month. How well did the business do? What was the revenue that was generated? What was the income that came in? How can we... What are different ways to generate more revenue, make more money? Okay, but just consistently reflect and review it. A lot of coaches out there don't do this, 
right? They just go day by day and they kind of just go, go with the flow, as they say, right? You've got to be someone that is completely different. You've got to be someone that's focused and finding different ways in order to improve your business on a daily basis, okay? So if you would like to speak to me about any of these six things that I've just shared with you, get in contact with me below this video. There is a number of ways that you can get my help. So visit the description below. If you need more help with your coaching business, this is something that I do. All right. This is something I dedicate myself to, to learning, to doing, helping coaches improve their business and essentially make more money so that they can do this full time. And doing it full time helps you to build, you know, a living out of it. OK, so make sure you get in contact with me. Look forward to, to speaking to you and I'll see you on the next video.